Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Dainese St. Louis leather jacket. Dainese's new for 2021 leather jacket is a display of subtle simplicity. It does all of the essentials in a way that's really, really understated. Dainese call this an urban jacket, and that does make a lot of sense, but I don't think it's a jacket that will only cope with life in the city. It's made from cowhide throughout, but there are two different finishes to that leather. The main section of the jacket is a matte finished soft leather, and then the sections down the inside of the sleeves and also at the back of the sleeves has a glossy appearance and an almost crispy feel, but it is surprisingly flexible despite that initial feeling of crispiness. The same type of leather as this is also used down the sides of the torso, across the lower back, and then at the trim for the collar at the top here. Using leather on the insides of the sleeves is what makes this jacket known as an urban jacket. It's much more suited to the upright riding position. If you're on a sports bike, it'll be much more comfortable if you have stretch fabric material on the insides of the arms here, because you need much more flexibility to get into the riding position that a sports bike demands. Dainese have been really subtle with the use of their logo as well. There's an embroidered white on black patch at the top of the left sleeve, but other than that, you're relying on a black on black patch at the back of the neck to let the world know that this is a Dainese jacket. The fasteners to this jacket hardly require a huge amount of technical explanation, really. There's a zip up the front and there's also a zip at each cuff. There are poppers to secure those cuffs as well, and then also at the neck, where there are two press studs on the base plate, so you can choose how tightly you want that collar to be done up. There are two external pockets, and that's about as much as there is really to say about the exterior of this jacket. On the inside, there's a removable thermal liner with full sleeves, so you can stay warm on chilly days. There's one pocket in that thermal liner, and then there's another pocket in the same position on the mesh lining that sits behind it. So you get one interior pocket, whether you're riding with the liner in or whether you're riding with the liner out. There's also a full length connection zip to attach this jacket to trousers. And because that's a full length connection zip, that means you'll need to attach this to Dainese's leather trousers. There's no short connection zip and there are no belt loops either. So that means you won't be able to attach it to a belt and wear it with denim jeans. You'll need to attach this to leather jeans or ride with it with denim jeans, but the two won't be able to be connected. The armour in this jacket is at the shoulders and the elbows, and it's Dainese's soft and really perforated pro armour, which makes the basic level one of the CE standard. There's not a back protector in this jacket as standard, but there is a pocket, and you can fit either a Dainese G1 or G2 back protector, depending on the level of protection you want. Overall, this jacket is certified to the latest CE standard, but Dainese don't state in any of the literature or any labels which level within that standard it meets. We've called them to ask, but we haven't had an answer from them yet. To be on the safe side, let's say this jacket meets the basic level A, and if Dainese come knocking to say that it's actually done better than that in the test, then I'll put something in the description for this video to suggest that that's been the case. So that's all the features and construction covered with this jacket. Let's talk about the price. The recommended retail price as things stand, as we record this in 2021, is £479.99. That's a lot of money for what's essentially quite a simple and straightforward leather jacket. The quality is good, it's been comfortable in the time that I've worn it, and it looks really good in my opinion too. You will be able to get a jacket that does a very similar job to this for quite a bit less money from another brand, but the Dainese label is highly sought after and that does come with its own price tag. But if you love the look of this jacket and can run to £480 for one, then I don't think you'll be disappointed in it. It is a very nice bike jacket. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Dainese St. Louis leather jacket. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching. 